Yeah, so, you know, uh, it's kind of, it's a little challenging where you want to, um, it's like I told my wife, you know, this is, we live here. Yeah. There's a business here as well. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's not uncommon that, you know, I kind of asked her, you know, there's going to be a big milk tank in the front yard now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try to cover it as much as we can. <coughs> well. And she's thinking, oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think every husband says that about every project. Don't yeah, it doesn't matter what the project you, you won't is. You not notice it that much, yeah. right? Which is really you'll notice yeah. it. <laughs> you just Which gotta, means I'm lying to you, but you not in a not mean say, way. Yeah. 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 So yeah, so you know, it's not a big spot, but we try to be as efficient as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come right through here. So who is you do all? I do all. This is So you don't have a crew. Oh no no, I do have a crew. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is we'll Think call, geez, okay. Take it easy. Eh? We'll call it the dream, I guess. Some people I always love the the saying some people play golf, some people make cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that a saying? Well, it's well if you're if you're a cheese maker apparently, yes, <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah. saying. Yeah, cuz you can't uh, you know, when you're making cheese, there's no shortcuts. There's, you just hurry up and wait. That's all it is. You just got to stand next to it until it's ready. And then... So what kind of cheeses are you making? Like, what are you doing here? So what I did is, back in my day, uh, you know, we're, growing up, this is an Acadian community. So yep. like, yeah. So we're French first. Yep. Yeah. And uh, for me, uh, growing up on the farm, you know, it's kind of what I knew. And like here, everybody in school was like, well, you know, what are you going to do when you grow up? I, I, I always knew that I wanted to play on the farm. So come post-secondary, there's a ag college here in the Maritimes, but it was in English. And I studied all my school years in French. So I was like, well, yeah. you know, it might be a challenge. So I said, let's, uh, let's go to the ag colleges in Quebec. Right. So at the end of it, I had a choice. There was La Pocatière. That's just this side of Quebec. Like it's still countryside. Right. Uh, saint Isaac, which is half an hour out of Montreal. And then there's Alfred, which is just outside of Ottawa or something like that. Okay. And, you know, as an 18 year old, you know, you realize that you're, you're going in Sorry, there. You're pointing away. It's fine. Yeah. You can keep going. Yeah. And uh, as an 18 year old, you realize, well, you know, half an hour's drive, I can go to Montreal. But let's go there. You know Why I mean? not, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Logical <laughs> yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so anyways, I ended up there and uh, that's where I kind of, uh, you know, we went through the farm business management course and, you know, we, we, they talked about the importance of, you know, Unfortunately, farming, you need off-farm income. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's sad. But uh, so we were working on projects of value adding. And, you know, so, so we, we just did some projects. And for <clears> me, uh, you said, well, logically, you know, we'll, pro we'll do some on-farm processing. And, and what I've learned in, as, as a maritime we're going in Quebec is I saw these cheese curds on the counters everywhere. Yeah. And, you know, I was like, so what's that? And then I kind of got hooked on it. And said, oh, this is amazing. You know what I mean? And, and the whole Putin culture, like, sure. yeah, like we, you know, here it's meat and potatoes. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're on PEI. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyways, I was like, man, I should, I should bring that to the Maritimes, yeah. you know, try, try to develop that. So yeah. it's been a long way, you know what I mean? It, it, you know, bootstrapping this place right from the ground up. So it took some time, did some courses and you know, it's just, it's a grind. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like a there's grind. no like farming's a grind. Yeah. On the best day. Yeah. And then you add stuff like this. It's grind on grind. Yeah. So so for me, it's wow. it's, it's the realization. Well, the family farm is not really big enough because you know my dad, and my uncle are on it. You can't. You can only split the pie so much, and right. people get hungry. So I said, you know what? Screw this. I'm gonna do this rig. You know what I mean? So. Uh, so the family farm's five about well, five clicks up. Yeah. How big's the family farm? Um, no, some 40, 50 cows, something like that. Okay. Just, you know, okay. it's, uh, you know, we'll call it postcard-ish. You know what I mean? Okay. Like the, okay. It, it's, it's under the uh, mm -hmm. national average in terms of... Okay, whatever, yeah. though. Number okay, so, but, the, but the moment, yeah. your dad and your uncle are still doing... Yeah, that. well, they're kind of semi-retired now, yeah, so... Well, they play yeah. with it, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, still, there's still a lot of stuff to clean up. You know what I mean? There's still yeah. work to do. Well, we were laughing yeah. about that. We were saying, you know, because we're, you know, the talk... A lot of talk on the island is smoking busy in the summer, and then you try to make as much as you can so you can coast through the winter until the next summer, et cetera, right? But we're saying farming is, it might have that cyclical, but I guess, you know, animals don't take the winter off. No, 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 no. Do you know no, what you, I mean? There's you, always Christmas stuff. Christmas morning, you're spending it with yeah, the cows. Exactly. So yeah. there's always something to do. Mm -hmm. Always something yeah. to do. And, and for me, like my mindset is, I didn't want to build a business that was cyclical. I, did, I didn't do this for the tourists. 
No. I, I did this for the locals because, you know, I still have bills to pay in February. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I mean? So, Absolutely. It's, it's, it's just, you're growing the market. And and it's tough because it takes, you know, we're, we're at it almost 10 years. And, you know, it's still a learning curve. Like, you know, uh, the, the older generations over here, they have no idea what it is. Like, if, if, if cheese isn't in a block, it's not cheese to them. So, you know what I mean? There, there's, there's a learning curve. But, you know, the next generations are coming oh, up as well. you're fueling the city, though, too. Charlottetown's not that far. Yeah. It's more a little more, pro you know, there's people yeah. coming in, people dying to try Yeah, no, so yeah, we, we get ventures and stuff That's like awesome. that. That's so, awesome. So, no, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty exciting. So, predominantly cheese curd? Yeah, yeah. essentially, we, we... That's it. We do cheese curds, and uh, so we ended up getting our federal license a couple of years ago because the PEI market wasn't big enough. So now we cover most of New Brunswick. So, so you can enter provincial. You can even sell to BC if you really want yeah, to. Yeah, but the problem is, is cheese is expensive and heavy. Yeah. So by the end of it, like oh, nobody did the, the, the shipping. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for me, like after New Brunswick is Quebec, yeah. and they've got tons of cheese. Right. Yeah. You know, why, why would I want to send mine there? You know right. Because I mean? right. well, you you actually those are your mountains, right? If yeah. you get over those mountains, Ontario doesn't have good cheese curds. Oh, okay, I, I see. It's Just a, saying, it's, it's a tough I ride. Think, I don't know if BC does either. And to be honest with <laughs> no, you, we're, BC does we're all used to pricing. Yeah. I mean, we we're Canada. I mean, everything's shipping is a nightmare yeah. of this country. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's mm -hmm. nothing's easy. You can't. It's hard to ship off the stupid island. Yeah. To get off the stupid island, it's hard to ship to the to the main country, and then yeah. you ship to Quebec, ship to Vancouver, you yeah. may as well ship to Europe. Yeah, it's well, closer. Like, exactly. Like I used in, in my uh, while I was bootstrapping this, I had a job in, in equipment sales, and on the East Coast, it was it was cheaper to send a piece of equipment in a container to the Netherlands yeah. than it was to Toronto. Exactly. That's insanity. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it, it doesn't make any sense. But, anyways, it, it's it's challenging, and here we're all doing the grind by ourselves. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I know a bunch of other food producers who are going off island. And, you know, we try. You know, is there a way that we can work together? Yeah. Like, I deliver bi-weekly. Mm -hmm. You deliver monthly. You know, oh, I need refrigerated. Yeah. Oh, I need freezer. Yeah. So, it, you know, it's it's still, you know, it, it, it's a lot of work. Nothing's easy, buddy. No, no. But, I mean, it's it's the That's price okay. to pay yeah. to live and do business here. Yeah. Which I'm okay with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, I know, like, I'm not going to be on IPO. Yeah. Or anything like that. This is, you know, I, I got into this. If I can make a little bit of money to pay for the hockey gear for the kids, I think I'm doing okay. So, no, I love it. That's all good, yeah. man. So, was it was it always cheese? Like, so when you started ten years ago, is that what you intended to do? Was just cheese curds? Or? Well, yeah. So essentially, uh, you know, I wanted to like any kid, you want to get out of your parents' basement. <laughs> so I wanted a house and a cheese plant. So I said, I'm going to do both. So being a naive 20 some year old or whatever, yeah. so I, I built this place. I had CFI look over the plans, yeah. walk it through and everything was good. Mm -hmm. So the big thing is, is I can't go from my house to my plant. I literally have to get out, walk around, go in, you know. Like I could, okay, and I get that, there's, yeah. there's rules. You know, yeah. and they don't want kids running up yeah. and down and all that, you gotta make it. Yeah, and it's, fu it's yeah, funny, it's like a, I got it. some for this, like this we call the production side okay. uh, on this half of the building. Well, if you go on top, there's no washroom sinks or anything, so there's no seepage. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it's just little things like that. Yeah. So, it, so it, it, you, you kind of learn. And, and you, you can't... I've taken my time. Like, sometimes I think I'm too slow, but, you know, I think I've made the right decisions. You know, I'm not... Uh, the, the bank's not knocking at my door. So, right. So, you know, it's, it's kind of working. Okay. So, yeah. But no, essentially, so we, we got into that, and I, I, I did the house plan first because I needed to get out. And I kind of had the cheese plant uh, showed up and then I went to the bank and I said, so this is my plan for the mortgage. And they said, so well, what's that? Oh, that's just a little cheese plant. We'll say, well, well I'm not going to borrow your money. So you need to go for a commercial loan with 20% down. I said, oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. So then I, I phoned them up the next day. I said, I changed my mind. I'm just going to do apartments downstairs. So and they said, well, do you think we're stupid? I said, no, we're not. So then I just ended up phoning another bank. <laughs> so no. yeah, you got you got to tell a white lie once in a while. And, uh, Maybe but I'll you know, cut that part I think we'll, we'll edit this one. We'll edit that part out. <laughs> yeah. But uh, at the end of it, it's, uh, you know, I'm not hurting anybody. And as you know, but if you're playing by the rules and it's all I'm, on I'm the rules, I rules. mean, bank rules, we can keep this if you want. Bank yeah. rules are bullshit rules. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. meant for banks. They're not meant for real life. 
At yeah. the end of the day, it's functioning. It's doing this thing. You separate it. It's government approved. Yeah. So who gives no, a no, shit? But, like, and bank rules are, because bankers are bankers, right? Exactly. So yeah, yeah. Whatever. Built things they know. Yeah, yeah. You're building something they don't know, right? So mm -hmm. they're kind of going. Mm -hmm. wow. But, but, but so if you residential, I treat differently than commercial. You know. Well, I can make do. Well, I'll put you in commercial. <clears throat> but on, but TD's bankrolling the U.S. mafia. Well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just we're just a little because upset they about know that. that model. Yeah, yeah so, they know yeah. that model. Yeah. They don't know the cheese making yeah. model. Yeah. They don't and really, the problem with that we got making. caught. <laughs> yeah, ah, we got caught. You know, yeah, seriously, so why? Yeah. Really? Anyway, ah, anyways. come on. So for this, like, where yeah. are you? Where are you sourcing? So, are you sourcing milk from the, from your yeah. dad and your uncles? Yeah. Still? So it was kind of like it, it's very. It's very basic. Like uh, I, I'm fortunate enough that it's an independent. Um, milk hauler that yeah. does this run and uh, so you know i had to have an agreement with the milk board say you know this is how we're going to do it and you know and you have a certain amount of quota and, and, and through, all that, yeah right? through C cdc yeah and it's just at, at one point you know we had a couple of issues i said listen this issue is between us three we're going to resolve it it's going to work you know uh, i i think it, it was in the matter of uh vol milk deliveries right. like they wanted me to have the capabilities to uh, measure milk like a gas station would on a gas station pump. Oh. And I was like, no, no, like let's, let's be real here. You know what I mean? I'm willing to pay 10% more. Like if I drop milk on the ground, it's mine. Like yeah. what, what, whatever it is. So anyways, we got to an agreement and it works. Um, so after that, like I know the milk run is every two days, the milk truck drivers is around yeah. and it's just a matter of me sending them a text. Hey, swing in this morning. Very basic. Oh, that's awesome. Bro. Yeah. And then I said, and then he's like, well, what do you need? And I'll give him, you know, 2000 liters or whatever. He said, oh, well, you know, I, I, I don't have a whole lot on the truck. Let me go pick up someone else okay. and I'll come back. So it, it's very, but you're sourcing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like all it's a, within the area. Yeah. It's all farms that I know. It's all Beautiful. farms. We did 4-H awesome. together. So fantastic. Yeah. So it, it's really like, like they're quality is is key and you know it's like well, if, supporting if, if locals had, yeah. is great i mean yeah. I, I, like i can nice literally go in and, and uh, check the whole thing out so but no like it, it's, and what are you allowed to produce like what do you i can do like the the, the milk board told me we're in the business to sell milk so, so you, you could like i could open this huge ass plant you know what i mean yeah until i disrupt the market which right. is not necessarily the plan but anyways but there there it is you know you know, well, if you they know, want, you know, you do, you do. yeah, like we'll sell Shit you a million liters of milk a year. I said, yeah. okay, okay, well, you know, for, for like, there are some plants, like some farm processing plants that'll do a million liters a year, but you know, you're starting to get into big stuff. Yeah. You know, for me, you know, we're, we're still for what we process is what the big guy accidentally drops on the floor. Yeah. But in terms of volume. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, so how many kilos are you, are you pushing out of here of cheese? Uh, probably 200, 200 a batch, 200 batch and how many batches? uh one two a week like it's not it's not a whole lot that's a lot that's the, so you're doing 200 kilos two to four hundred kilos a week yeah that's still a lot of cheese lot. It, yeah it, it's still a lot like it's for, twenty thousand kilos of cheese i mean i, I understand yeah. it's not i i'm not saputo no no who no, cares? no i'm not the saputo <laughs> uh, who no, cares no, no, right no, no, whatever yeah. but you're still that's still yeah. a good chunk of cheese no, no, that's, yeah that's, that's, that's right seriously that's yeah. that's a nice number yeah. Yeah, so I, it works out. And for me, like I bring it back down, like <laughs> I went, I went retail. Like for me, what was important, I went fixed weight, fixed price barcode. And that's okay. what saved me during COVID. 100%. Yeah, because I've never, trying to go to the restaurants, you know, I have a delivery run to do. You can't show up there before 10 because nobody's right. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you show up <clears> close <throat> to noon, well, it's the noon rush. Nobody wants to talk to you. Yeah. And then you leave your stuff and then, you know, yeah. it, it, it just, it wasn't a good fit. So I still do some, like, uh, there, there are some great restaurants out there that, that do, that make an effort to support local and, and yeah. those need to be recognized. Yeah. But, uh, so for me, like it was really grocery and, um, it worked out. So in terms of volume, like we're talking KGs, I'm talking, I, I need to move a thousand of these bags a week you know, to, to a thousand different people. Yeah. So, and, th and that's where it becomes, you know, where, you know, you, it's, it's, it's always the grind because it's a fresh product. You got to get it out. You know what I mean? Like, it, what's it's your really, life? What's your life on it? Two uh, weeks, three weeks? It will get up to four, but I mean, you want a rotation at two. You know what yeah. I, mean? I, I tell anybody after two weeks, cook with it. You know what I mean? You're not going to get the squeak out of it. Cause you know, right. I, I hold myself to a higher standard and it cheese, 
plants are like hockey teams. Your local one is always the best. But when you say you're just as good as the local one, I take that as a great compliment. So, I think, I think you got it pretty good. Uh, it's cool. Yeah, it's, cool. Uh, it, it's, yeah. So even like in terms of, um, yeah, shit, you make it very complicated. Like, so even in terms of getting distribution too far away, is your, you know, when you're tacking travel time on, like you can't ship this to BC via truck or train. You no. need to fly it. Yeah, and you know, it, it so just you just need to come back every other week. You know what? No, because I'm I'm thinking like out the, like well, we do like with with La Grotta, we do a fresh program. Yeah, we do a fresh program from Italy. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if we order, let's say today mm -hmm. or whatever day we order, mm -hmm. it goes. They got 20 to 48, 24 to 48. They amalgamate, consolidate yep. in Italy on a plane to Vancouver because it's time. Yeah, it's And the time. clock's running, right? Yeah, yeah. And you have to do it before the weekend unless, yeah. unless people work during the 100%. weekend. 100%. So you've yeah. got to move. So, you know, by the time it lands in Vancouver, like we may have 14 to, let's say, 18 days. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Again, it's not catastrophic, but to your point, yeah. it needs to be almost pre-sold because you can't be sitting there no, you know, no, 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 what are you going to do? Let's, yeah, let's yeah. run around the city and try to sell cheese today. No. Yeah. And, and it's a guess. Like for, for me, like I've got somebody hired that does phone calls every Monday morning. Because, you know, before that, nobody calls. Like we're out in the middle of nowhere. Nobody calls. Nobody's going to come to pick it up. So I can make 200 kgs of cheese and throw it on the deck outside and nobody's going to no. come by. And, no. So I have, so I've got I three vehicles. That. I don't know about that. Yesterday we were telling people we were coming here and everyone had the same look. Everybody loves this everyone cheese. Everyone was like, uh, he's Matthew's yeah. cheese. So, no, Everybody talks about this I cheese. I feel like you could throw that on Instagram and people show up at you. You might know, surprise yourself. Well, yeah, we're, we're trying, you know <laughs> what I mean? Because we run this place like a plant first. It's yeah, not yeah, a tourist yeah, attraction. Yeah, yeah. And I tell people, if you want fresh cheese, come Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. Like sometimes the machine screws up. You might have to wait 15 minutes until we get it figured out. But, you know... The cheese is there. It's coming up. It's coming off. Okay, so we're here. What? What? I'm this is actually. I'm this is where you mix. So what okay. We, what okay. We... So, so the the milk goes in that big tank here. Okay. Right. Yeah. So that uh, what we do with the pasteurization. Yeah. Right. So we'll we'll heat it up and uh, kill all the bugs. We'll cool it down, and at the same time, we'll put. Um, we'll put our cultures in. Right. So right. I, I like to use the analogy that uh, like starters and rennet is kind of like a, a teen dance. You know what I mean? You put your starter in, everybody's kind of dancing together. And when you put your rennet, it's kind of when the lights come on, like everybody separates. You know what I mean? We've got the, the way on top, yeah. we've got the cheese on top and the way on the bottom. Oh, you know what I mean? so funny. So with that, that. It, is you kind of end <laughs> up with a big block of cheese. Right. So, and so you, you, you can't do anything with it. So yeah. for us, and it's very fragile. So what we do is we take our, our curd knives yeah. and we cut it up. Like here we have the chicken frico. You take your potatoes, you cut them in cubes, you cook yeah. them, cook them fast. Same principle with the cheese. So we cut them in cubes and we cook them up. Okay. So it, it ends up being, cause we, we want to give texture to the curd right. because it, it's, it's kind of, it's fragile like an egg yolk. Okay. So we cook it up for probably 45 minutes until you can practically make a snowball with it. Okay. And that's when we know it's done. And that's all done in there? That's all done in there. So that's okay. kind of like a transforming, Yeah. like it's okay. a dual purpose. It's like the magic cool. pot? Yeah, it's the magic pot. So yeah. after, once we're done with that, once it's, everything's cooked. It's like the Chinese rice pot. <laughs> that's the one. Ten and one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, so it. does the dishes, yeah. laundry, everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we, we, uh, we hook a pipe up to it and we okay. flush it in the drain tank that's behind you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and then, then here, cause cheese making is essentially it's 10 to one. So if I got a thousand liters of cheese, I'm going to end up with a hundred kgs. No, if I got a thousand liters of milk, I'll end up with a hundred kgs yeah, of cheese. Of cheese. So, but I'm going to end up with 900 mm -hmm. kgs of whey. Which is still sellable. And... It's still sellable, <clears throat> but for me, it takes extra processing. But, however, we're in the countryside. Pig farmer. He comes up. You see that big, ugly orange tank or yellow tank? Oh, that's what that... Okay. Yeah. So we flush it out to him. He comes and drags it home and feeds his pigs is this with the it. tank that you didn't tell your wife about? Uh, that's she was the, like, that's... you told me about the one tank. No, no. Right? That's the tank <laughs> on wheels. And I say, it's, it's only going to be here for 12 hours. But right now, it's been like 36. <laughs> So anyway, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I said, I, I sent him a message this morning. I said, can you come get your tank? I'm getting people over today. Yeah. I said, I'm fishing. I said, so anyway. Oh, you got to fish. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I yeah, stop yeah, yeah, fishing. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's need all good. Stance, I need my stance. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So 
Anyways, uh, so yeah, so it ends up there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so I, I'm, you know, there's two things that we're we're pretty proud of. Is one getting that out of our system, out of our septic system, because yeah. you know, uh, I'm not in the market for a big pool, a big waste pool and transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so we're yeah. doing that. So we took that out, and at the same time, uh, last year we ended up because we use hot water to heat our vat. And we use cold water to cool it down. So we just flush the water. But if you flush the water, you know, the water comes in cold and then it gets kind of lukewarm after that. So you, you always have to, you, right. you run new water. Yeah. It's not an ice bath, yeah. right, for yeah, example. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, and, and that was all going in through my tile field as well. And, you know, we're come to find out every time that we do a batch of cheese, we, it takes around two to 2,500 liters of potable water to cool it down. Which wow. is a lot. It's a lot of water. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so, you know, for me, you know, uh, a couple of years back, they had a moratorium on deep water wells. Potato farmers wanted to take water out to spray their crops because potatoes, you know, are important here. Yeah. And the community was kind of all up in arms. Well, I, I took the opportunity to do the opposite. So I, I turned my cheese processing system kind of into a geothermal. So I'm taking cold water in, yeah. cooling it down and putting it back into the water table. So at the end of it, so, and, and I did a little program here That's through the cool. Department of Agriculture over, so this, I've got my water counter here. Uh, so we are at 413,000 liters of recycled water. That's fantastic. Wow. Yeah. So that's it. So I, I estimated over 400,000 liters a year that we'd save. That's not, that's, that's, a, yeah, that's, so, that's so, good. So for me, cause I know in the dairy industry, like different industries, you, you, it takes so many kgs of water per kgs yeah. of cheese. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you know, we're just, and for me, like it, it was, I could see it. I had the play park over the tile field and it was getting kind of squishy. Yeah. And the, you know, flies were kind of hanging around. I said, well, you know, this isn't sustainable. No. So, you know, flush out the system, clean it out. And then we, we made the choices that could, you know, because we want to be a good steward of the environment. Yeah, We're in the country yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, most farmers, awesome. I think, inherently have that built into their yeah, system. Yeah, yeah, because, right? I mean, you're, you're working the land. Well, that's you gotta, it. you got to take care well, of it. Abuse the land. Guess yeah. what happens? Yeah. Your livelihood's going to go sideways, right? Yeah. So, so for us, we do that. Uh, we heat on propane here. So we're, we're, we're looking to convert. Uh, we're, we have a big biomass system. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So we're looking to preheat our water with that. And kind of just use the propane as a kind of like a turbo. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. So to so you know again mitigate cool. that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All steps. So anyway, so it's Very it's cool. all stuff that takes time. It's all stuff that costs money, and uh, you know, it's, so it's just it's different. And for me, um, cheese making today, or I guess running a business essentially today is not yeah. the same thing that it was 10, 15 years ago. Like I know cheese plants where they have. Uh, you know, the, the ladies of the village will come in the afternoon and six of them will bag cheese. Yeah. I, I, you know, I didn't want to build a business model based on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want, I want the, I want the girls <laughs> to, you know, have fun, you know, keep uh, make, making the mittens and, and have, you know what I mean? So, so here, uh, so we invested into more equipment, like packaging equipment okay. and mm -hmm. processing and different things like that. So. So, but this is, this is, okay, this is still so predominantly this, hand done, right? Yeah. I'm assuming the scoops are all to, like, this is not. So, yeah. So, essentially, like, once, once this vat is full of, like, cheese, uh, you know, we'll dry it for, like, right. an hour. So, we'll cut it in cubes and then flip it out because you want to get the moisture out. Right. Where there's moisture, there's water. Where there's water, there's bacteria. Right. So, the less you can, so, the more so you can. So, you'll dump everything in here. Everything goes this, in there and then the, the, the whey tray. Kind of like and that tray away. goes, that's one yeah. into the yeah, tank yeah. that's not supposed to be in the yard because the wife wants it out. Yeah. 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 That one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not the one she accepted because it's just part of. Yeah. It's part no, of the no, production. No, that's yeah. the other one she yeah. accepted. Yeah. The stainless steel really we're good with. Well, we're not good with it, but we'll tolerate it. Yeah. Yeah. The other one we don't want around. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, so when that's all done, I've got this industrial French fry maker. Okay. That essentially I, I chuck blocks of cheese in that, that big piece here. So I'll put big, big ass blocks of cheese in here yeah. and it comes out and fries underneath. That's how you get the curd. So that you have, oh. that's how you get the curd. Yeah. That's yeah. how you get the curd. You just cut it in small pieces. So yeah. So, so how, like, is this 
kind of like one run for you? Like so Yeah, this it is goes one run. all the way up to the top and or yeah. close to the top. Okay. Yeah, then okay. it drains out and then so we're left with the solid product. We cut yeah. it up, we rotate it, we try to get as much more. So like a, yeah, the can. thousand liters goes in, you got a, you know, you get your hundred yeah. kilos of cheese. Yeah. You cut it into blocks, block goes yeah. in, curds come out. So you just roll that around, you know what I mean? So yeah. it just yeah. fills the table full of fries, cheese fries, essentially. And then so what you do None is that after that. Bad. That <laughs> sounds so good. Yeah. And so <clears throat> what we do after that is we surface salt it because you, you need to get salt yeah. for the preservation and, right. and to, to drive the moisture out. So it, it's kind of funny. So cheese is 3D, you got three dimensions. So we do three salt runs essentially. So if I got three, three kgs of salt, I'll do one kg, I'll mix it up. One kg, mix it up. Just because you want to make sure that you try, you, you try as hard as you can yeah, you to every piece of cheese. Everything needs a little salt. Yeah. 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 And, and, and hopefully as evenly mm -hmm. as possible. And, and that's what yeah. makes the curd shrivel. Yeah. Because it, it's you're it's shocking, awesome. you're yeah. shocking the product, yeah. so it, it's kind of like contracting and getting its water out. Right, right, right. I so, love it. so that's how it uh, it gets out. So. None of that's bad. French fries. No, oh, I, I, all I heard cheese, salt. salt. I mean, it was everything good. I yeah. Was, yeah, there was yeah. not a bad word in there anywhere. <laughs> yeah. No. So yeah. So anyway, so it works out. So this uh, on, on the, the the processing side, this is the bulk products here, and all these little. Uh, are these molds? Is that yeah, what like are? no, these are our dishes. Okay. And this go into our conveyor. This was recycled. I think it was an old cranberry conveyor or something like that, all stainless steel. Okay. And anyway, so it so we fill this up. So it goes in the cheese vibrator, just puts a little bit in. So this is chock full of these little bowls, and it goes up top. And when it gets there, it just dumps. That's amazing. Yeah, and it dumps into our packaging machine on the other side. Oh. Oh. So yeah. So your, your, your hand components are basically here. This yeah. is all on, yeah, It comes yeah, to here, there. hand to there, yeah. hand and into then, these hands. And, yeah. and then you're handing in here. Yeah. And how many people then do you, do you have working with you to? Two. Okay. So one on this side, one on the other side. Cool. Yeah. So that's the main thing. And you know, okay, I've, cool. got, I've got great people. They're, you know, I call them semi-retired. They're 60 plus, you know what I mean? And you know, we work one, two days, two days a week. And for them, it's just enough. It's you know perfect. I mean? Yeah, so it works out. And I try to make their life as easy as possible. So Which is good too. Yeah, so we try. So where are we at here now? Oh, wrong one. Okay, so this is our side. It dumps this, up up top. Yeah, so this is our 10 head weigh scale. And if you look at that, th those are all the components that go on that scale. Okay. So for simple math, say if my cheese bag is 180 mm -hmm. grams, yeah. uh -huh. uh, that machine, all the weigh scales would be set at 60. 60 times three is 180. So it would take the combination 60, 61, 59, it would open those doors. And then it would calculate what's my closest combination to the target weight. Because okay. you know, we used to bag this by hand. You know what I mean? Uh, if we didn't talk to each other, it didn't look, we could do four a minute. So, and when you got close to a thousand to do, it's a long, it's a long, a lot of minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we ended up putting this and you know, we're around 20, 24. It's a big so difference. Like, oh yeah. A big, difference. a big difference. So as long as you keep the machines, you know, kind of well oiled yeah. and everything like that. Yeah. So it works out. So it makes it manageable. So you're here, it goes, it goes into the way scale. It goes into the VFFS here, which we got our custom rolls on that we done. So this is kind of our little chip bag machine, we'll call it. Fantastic. So anyways, uh, so we do that. So essentially this is our <clears throat> primary product. And you know, we could make this all day long, but our Eastern Canadian market can't take it. No. Because it's a fresh product. I can fill the shelves, but after that, if it goes bad, I'm You're responsible for picking yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, I'm not in, the, I'm not in that game. <clears throat> yeah. Most cheese guys aren't in that game. So what you're yeah. trying to do is Make, build to, to sell. Yeah. It's got to move. Yeah. So like it's yeah. very low on inventory. Like I'm That's not in the whole. Gym. Better to run out than, than have. Yeah. To, to me, to me, I'd rather see a shelf in the store with two bags on it. Yeah. Than, you know, 42. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. hundred mm percent. -hmm. I know but, it sounds counterintuitive to retail, but yeah. in fresh it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. So wow. that's really cool. Yeah. Wow. So it works out and you know, we got other things here. I guess it's just, other pieces of equipment. So we're, we're looking to die, you know, we're starting to get comfortable where we're at in terms of feeding the market. And for us, we want to protect our market. 
So for the grocery stores to like us, we want to present them with more SKUs because if the guy closer to town decides to open a cheese plant, he can easily push me out. Yeah. Sorry, but if, sorry. You think there's another guy who will open one of these at the back of his house and persuade his wife to put a milk thingy in. Uh, or even uh, someone in industrial who's going to come in to I'm make fresh yeah. to make fresh cheese curds. It's yeah. good to stay competitive. I think you're going to you know what? I think I think you're pretty safe for the for the short term. Yeah, well, you know, it's a tough gig, right? Yeah, you only need to find somebody that's just as crazy as me. But you know what? But but, but two nuts doesn't hurt the market necessarily. That's right. Like you got because if you get two nuts doing this, that means the market can support the two the two nuts. Yes. That's right. So at that point, you know what? Maybe yeah. not the worst thing. Yeah. Not yeah. the worst thing. Mm -hmm. So anyways, uh, but no, I'll show you some stuff here that we're working on now. Actually. This is really cool. That's all this, cool. This, 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 That's a nice little bagger, right? This is, so this is our, pri we'll say this is our primary child here. Okay. The Squeaky's Cheese Curds. Well, he just had a little brother and we'll call him Crunchies because these are deep fried cheese curds. Because we can make more cheese than the market can handle. So with our overstock, what we started is, to do... Is this out on market? Yeah, it's okay. out on market. Leave this in the video. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Same thing. Right. Fresh? Okay. So what's life... It's expected? frozen. So what's so... Well, it's, it's I a love little you bit so of, much. It's a little game changer. You, you, went, you went from fresh to frozen. <laughs> so frozen... Well, you know, I, I, you know, it's still the honeymoon phase. I, I'm, not, I'm not convinced I, I like love frozen. It. So we, we. So this is shipped frozen. Yeah. Comes to my store. Yeah. I'm. You put it in. The I'm taking it out, putting yeah. it in the fridge. Freezer. It's still freezer. Yeah. Really. These are matzo sticks, essentially. It's yeah. kind of like the the popcorn chicken. Yeah. Of the matzo stick. It's um, like if you go to Wings Place. I'm they looking. The, you know what I'm thinking? But it's, they have. They have. Bread, yeah. They have I just was wondering how it, how it was going to be served yeah. because I was yeah. wondering if you were going to, you know, if you went from frozen then to refrigerated slash yeah. quasi ambient, yeah. where it. No. So you then your life expectancy is two years instead of four weeks. Big difference. Now, if I'm, uh, let's say this, let's say we were, let's say we could do this in food service. Yeah. Yeah. So if I buy this in a one kg, two kg, mm -hmm. and I unfreeze it yeah what's how much time do i have uh it, it it all depends on the texture so we do that for retail yeah and the thing that we do here is we par fry it before we freeze it yeah if i go into food service no par frying they'll, right. par, they'll do, they'll the do their own thing yeah they'll do their own thing but still ship frozen so still then that, ship frozen it has to be frozen yeah, yeah but you're buying time yes time that's all i'm thinking for you i'm yeah. time i'm thinking yeah. you bought time because at home, okay, I can do this. I open it. I either do all 200, which is probably what I would do. Oh, because yeah. why yeah, would yeah. I? Yeah, that's what you do. I, I didn't put a, a Ziploc seal on it because I don't want people to reuse it. You know, you know one serving. No, Go no, for yeah. it. Share with your friends. Get it. Yeah. You know, and, and if you're deciding. I really open. like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like the concept. I mean, we, we, we even, like, with the, I work for, uh, I do contract work with a bunch of people. Yeah. But one of them is um, a distributor in Western Canada and Mm -hmm. We do a lot of cheese. Okay, cool. From Italy, from Canada, yeah. from wherever, right? Yeah. But, you know, we do a frozen burrata. Okay, yeah. Which is quite, yeah. a, quite more amazing than what people think it is. It's mm -hmm. actually very, very good, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Special process to do it all, yeah. blah, 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 blah. But, but that would go, you know, you think of I really like this. and things like that. All of a sudden, this is a nice. This is really cool. It's like mm -hmm. a, another step up. What sort of retail on that? Cool. Uh, less than 10. I'm trying to be, with my cheese curds, I was shooting for five. Ah, you're going to get a hug before yeah. this is over. And, you're and, thinking you know, this I'm, through. I'm going for less than 10. 